This is your Fantasy Football Update on CBS Local Sports. Joy Taylor, Jamie Eisenberg, Dave Richard. Let's start with the quarterback, shall we, gentlemen? Dave, you are starting Josh McCown. How can you get away from Josh McCown at this point? He's averaged nearly 300 yards passing each of the last two weeks, two touchdowns in each of the last two games. This is really the same quarterback that started the year as Tampa Bay's lead guy, and he was terrible in those games. He says he's not pressing as much, and now he's going into a matchup against his former team in the Bears, runs a defensive scheme he's very familiar with. The Bears have allowed 21 passing touchdowns in their last seven games. I'm not a math major, but I know that's three per game on average. Wouldn't surprise me if McCown had three touchdowns this week. And Dave says, sit, or I'm sorry, Jamie says to sit Matthew Stafford against New England. It's a tough matchup for him. You know, I know the numbers suggest that quarterbacks have done well against the Patriots defense the last three games. But think about who two of those quarterbacks were, Peyton Manning and Andrew Luck. Jay Cutler did it also in some garbage time situation. But Matthew Stafford outdoors this year on the road is averaging 17 fantasy points a game. That's not going to cut it as a top 12 guy this week. Last week, five fantasy points against the Cardinals. And you know Bill Belichick is looking at that game plan and saw the Cardinals blitz Stafford a lot. He's going to throw a lot at him. I just think he struggles this week. He may get you two touchdowns, but he may get you three turnovers. So it's just not a, it's not a safe situation to trust Stafford this week. But you do think C.J. Anderson is a safe start? Love C.J. Anderson. I know last week suggested that he didn't do a lot running the ball because he only had nine carries. But he's facing a Dolphins defense that is good against the run, but the Broncos running back has typically done well, and C.J. Anderson's found a way to be productive. Eight times this year out of the ten games that the Broncos have played where the leading running back for the Denver uh, Broncos backfield has gotten you double digits in fantasy points. So I think you see him come out, get you at least ten-plus points. If he scores, he's going to have a big game, and he's the only show in town right now. No Monte Ball, no Ronnie Hillman. They're not going to trust Jawan Thompson. They're leaning on C.J. Anderson, and they may lean on him a little bit more this week without Julius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders. Yeah, not a bad call. And Dave, you think you shouldn't trust Jonas Gray this week? Well, it was fun to watch him do what he did to Indianapolis last week. Four touchdowns is amazing, but let's be real here. There's no way he's going to do that again. I'd be happy if he did a quarter of that again, and I don't even think he'll do that. I don't think he'll even get you to 50 yards and a touchdown. The touchdown might be out of the question. This is a good Lions defense that the Patriots are hosting, and typically when the Patriots play a team that's great up front like the Lions, they throw the ball, and Jonas Gray is not on the field for New England when they put the ball in the air. They also signed LeGarrette Blunt this week. I don't think that'll be a big impact on Jonas Gray, but if you're looking for a guy that's going to get you about 60 yards, that's what Gray is in for. That's, I think that's about as good as it gets with him this week. But you do like Odell Beckham Jr. Love Odell Beckham Jr. He's had at least nine fantasy points in all but one game this season, each of his last four games. Nine fantasy points. The last time he took on the Dallas Cowboys, two touchdowns. That was back in week seven. I still think he's the best wide receiver in New York. I think Eli Manning is going to throw a bunch in this game. Odell Beckham is going to be in my fantasy lineups. And Jamie is not interested in Michael Crabtree this week. Uh, you know, he's okay. Good third receiver, but not a must-start guy. You know, you look at the touchdown he had last week. It was good. But it looked like the Giants just kind of watched him go in. There were six defenders around him, and, and crabs he's fast, but he's not that fast. They froze. Six guys. They, they kind of like, okay, you're going to get him. Then maybe you're going to get him. <laughs> so you get him. Oh, he just scored. Um, so I, I think you look at it as he's still the third guy there in this offense um, in, in their passing game because they're trying to get Vernon Davis going a little bit more, and maybe that happens this week. But he's clearly behind Anquan Bolden. And until we start to see it from a consistent basis, I don't know if he's a must-start guy. So third receiver at best. Very smiley Kobe Fleener is a good start this week. Oh, charming from Shrek, charming right? Charming from Shrek, yes. That's right. He's a very happy guy because he's getting a lot of production. Two games in a row now with double digits in fantasy points in a standard league. And Dwayne Allen did not practice on Friday, which means he's probably not going to play, dealing with a high ankle sprain. So more targets for him. And then Ahmad Bradshaw, he's out for the season. Some of those red zone touchdowns, that could go Fleener's way as well. He scored against Jacksonville the last time these two teams met in week three. Should do it again this time around. Love him this week. He's the number three tight end on my draft board, on my rank list behind Rob Gronkowski and Jimmy Graham. And Dave says no go on Zach Ertz. Ertz yeah. so bad. Yeah, I think I think everybody's pretty much on board now with Zach Ertz not being what we thought he was. The last person would be my dad. And he called me this week and he goes, son, what do I do with Zach Ertz? Do I put him <laughs> in my lineup or not? And dad, you and everybody else, do not do it. He's not even the lead tight end for Philadelphia anymore. It's Brent Selleck now. Yeah, good luck to Dave's dad and good luck to you. Thank you for <laughs> joining us for the Fantasy Football Update on CBS Local Sports.